2018 has been a pretty good year for games so far, but let's take a peek at what's happening next year. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated video games of 2019. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the games that we're most excited to play when they release in 2019. Please note that we're only considering games that have a confirmed release window for 2019. So, while we may assume that games like The Last of Us Part 2 might be coming next year, if it doesn't have a confirmed release window, it's not going to be on this list. Anything that happens here is far better than what's going on out there. <laughs> Number 10, Gears 5. She would never be our enemy by choice, I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Xbox came out swinging at E3 2018, announcing not just one, but three games in the Gears franchise. If you're not a fan of turn-based strategy or a mobile game of Gears in the Funko Pop style, fret not. There is still a core Gears game on the horizon, and it looks promising. Players will take control of Kate Diaz, who seeks to uncover the mysteries surrounding her family's origins and their link to the Locust. Joining her are JD Phoenix, Delmont Walker, and of course, Marcus Phoenix. Gears 4 may not have been a triumphant return to the franchise, but Gears 5 is looking to fix that with its intriguing narrative. What are you... Why did you come here with me? What did JD tell you? Number 9, Jump Force. <laughs> if it's a crossover fighting game starring our favorite manga and anime characters, we basically only have one question. Where do we sign up? As one of the biggest surprises during Xbox's E3 2018 briefing, Jump Force dropped a stellar trailer that showcased immensely detailed character models with equally detailed environments, but it might all be pre-rendered so we don't know. Until it's released next year though, fans will be heavily speculating on who will make an appearance. So far we have Naruto and Sasuke from Naruto, Goku and Frieza from Dragon Ball, Luffy and Zoro from One Piece, Light and Ryuk from Death Note, and Ichigo Rukia and Aizen from Bleach. Besides Smash Brothers Ultimate, this looks like the most ambitious crossover event in history. Jump Force. Number 8, Crackdown 3. Or even bust out my very own Oh yeah! Boom, shaka -laka. It's been delayed and then delayed some more, but we have a good feeling that Crackdown 3 will finally hit that target release date of February 22nd, 2019. The trailer shown at Xbox's briefing during E3 2018 showed that Crackdown is definitely coming back, and it's got some new toys to show for its absence. As we play with friends, we'll be able to drive up walls to pull off stunts, blast away bad guys with explosive duckies, and even maybe completely level the city of New Providence. The delay may have hit us a little hard, but Crackdown 3 might be Xbox's best game next year. Number 7, Shenmue 3. The Shenmue series has never had its time in the spotlight. Despite introducing innovative open-world gameplay elements, both Shenmue and its sequel were commercial failures. Most people just couldn't play them even if they wanted to, as they were on the Dreamcast. Some would say it was ahead of its time with its unique gameplay and story. However, over the years, the franchise has seen a cult following, growing so big that it finally warranted a third entry in the franchise. And from what we've seen, Shenmue 3 is looking incredibly gorgeous. The game is slated for a 2019 release window, but we wouldn't be too surprised if it gets delayed. Anyway, here's to optimism. Number 6, Rage 2. Before it was announced, if you were to tell us that Rage would ever get a sequel, we'd think you were crazy. Yet, here we are in 2018 talking Rage 2, which is looking to be a significant improvement on its predecessor. The tone is lighter and the gameplay looks fun as hell, from the Doom-like gunplay to the satisfaction of decapitating someone with a boomerang. What makes us even more excited for Rage 2 is that id Software is co-developing it with Avalanche Studios, who previously worked on 2015's Mad Max. Number 5, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. From Software threw us one hell of a curveball with this one. When the Shadows Die Twice teaser was revealed at the Game Awards in 2017, many of us were thinking that this was Bloodborne 2. Needless to say, this is not the case, but nobody's complaining. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice looks like it could be From Software's most challenging game yet. 
Instead of chipping away at health bars, although they'll probably be that, combat is more focused on staggering enemies in order to land a fatal blow. Well, if we ever get frustrated, maybe spamming that awesome grappling hook to fly around the map will lower our stress levels. Number 4. Skull and Bones Well, we thought we were. At E3 this year, Ubisoft showed off an extensive demo of Skull and Bones. Some may be quick to dismiss this as Assassin's Creed Black Flag 2, and while it will certainly draw inspiration from Black Flag's mechanics, this is an entirely different experience. You're not just exploring, treasure hunting, or spamming the cannons. Players will have to consider how they want their ships customized if they want to succeed in battle. Each ship variant will have different stats, and you can equip mortars and rockets in case cannons aren't your weapon of choice. In addition, you will have the option to set sail in a completely single-player campaign, complete with its own narrative. Now, this is the pirate adventure you've been looking for. Number 3. Devil May Cry 5 This was yet another one of the surprises to come out of E3 2018. The best part? This is a true sequel to Devil May Cry. Using the graphically impressive RE engine from Resident Evil 7, Devil May Cry 5 will allow fans to play as Dante, Nero, and an unknown third character to hack away demons as they travel the world with their own demon hunting agency. In true DMC fashion, the combat looks visually stunning, and pulling off combos should be as satisfying as it's ever been. With an early 2019 release window, fans are psyched to see what Nero, Dante, and company have been up to since the events of DMC4. Devil May Cry. Number 2. Kingdom Hearts 3. This game has been in development for so long. You would think by now that fans would have turned away from it, but with each trailer dropped, Kingdom Hearts 3 just keeps building hype. Players can expect a slew of new summons and Keyblade abilities, but the main attraction is the new worlds. On top of returning to Mount Olympus and the Caribbean, we'll get to explore new environments based on Toy Story, Monsters Inc., Big Hero 6, and more. January 29th could not come soon enough. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. They want blood, they will get it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. Number one, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Jesus. Jesus! They're everywhere! You can only imagine the sheer excitement from fans when Capcom announced it was remaking Resident Evil 2. Come on, we're talking about a remake of what some consider to be the best game in the franchise. Since the announcement was made in August of 2015, the whole project kind of went dark and left many of us wondering if it was even still in development. Sure enough, our dreams did come true during E3 2018 when the first trailer dropped. What really threw us out of our seats, though, was how soon we'd be playing it. January 25th, 2019 is closer than it seems, and we can't think of a better way to kick off the new year. It's coming. It's coming back! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.